Hi, I'm Laura Kayser. I'm an assistant professor in material science and engineering and chemistry and biochemistry. My group works in the area of organic electronics. More specifically, we synthesize semiconducting and conducting polymers that can be interfaced with the human body, either directly for biosensing or indirectly for robotics and haptics. Today, unfortunately, you can't visit our labs, and so instead we are making this video so that you can see us a little bit more. The graduate students in my group visit the lab virtually uh, and see a little bit of the equipment that we use. So with this, I will let my graduate students take over to show you around. Hello everyone, my name is Tolaja. I'm a first year PhD student in the chemistry and biochemistry department, and I'm the newest addition to the Kaiser lab. I will be working on upcycling of plastics to electronic materials. Outside of chemistry, I enjoy traveling, hiking, reading, and learning new things in general. Hi everyone, I'm Jun Yuan Ruo, and a second year grad student in chemistry. My research topic focuses on the opnian design, synthesis, and characterization of the mixed ionic electronic conductors for bioelectronic application. And I'm partic particularly interested in a polyelectrolyte complex such as PDAR-PSS. This material is commercially available and very common use in organic electronics. But the difficult is to modify and change its function, such like uh, ionic conduction. This is because the exact structure of the polystyrene sulfonate is unknown. So I'm um, synthesis is by myself and see how the molecule weight and polydispersity and degree of sublimation affect the property of the PDA PSS. I hope I can better understand the side principle of the mixture ionic electronic conductors. In the lab, I'm mainly responsible for the aqueous GPC, which allow us to measure the molecule weight and polydispersity of the water soluble polymers. Also the four point pro which can allow us to measure the conductivity of the material device. Outside of lab, I like to play basketball and enjoying cooking and traveling. Hi, my name is Elm, and my thesis project focuses on the development of biodegradable electronics to combat the amount of e-waste in our environment. A recent UN study stated that approximately 50 million tons of e-waste are produced every year. And by making some of this e-waste biodegradable, we can definitely eliminate it from our environment. Um, in lab, I run our NMRs, which we use to characterize all of our samples. And outside of lab, I like to cook, work out, and read. Hi, I'm Vidhika. My research focuses on the synthesis of conducting and stimuli responsive block copolymers. I aim to use a combination of P.PSS, which is a polyelectrolyte complex, and PNIPAM, which is a thermoresponsive material, for actuation and soft robotics. An equipment I use in the lab often is our custom-made Schlenk line, which provides nitrogen and enables me to run oxygen-sensitive polymerization reactions. I am in charge of lab safety and the lab's online presence through our website and Twitter account. Outside of research, I enjoy making art, cooking and playing musical instruments. Hi, I'm Mandy. My project focuses on making materials that convert electrical energy to mechanical energy and understand their mo molecular mechanism. The eventual application of these materials is in actuation in soft robotics and haptics, the st study of sense of touch. I synthesize redox active polymers that can be reversibly cross-linked under a voltage and therefore change their mechanical properties. Specifically, I synthesize conductive copolymers cross-linked with metals and characterize them with the FTIR instrument. Then I test their mechanical properties when a voltage is applied by using the cyclic voltammetry. Our lab is sharing the lab space with Dr. David Martin's lab, so we can use some of their instruments, including the cyclic voltammetry and the solid state FTIR instruments. Personally, I like traveling, but recently because of the pandemic, I spend most of my time outside of lab watching movies and reading books. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. We know it's no substitute for a real campus visit, but if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact me or my students and we'll be happy to answer your questions.